Let's adjourn. Get two minutes. So I have called the order to the joint meeting of the following community facilities district. Number one, community facilities general district number one, Palm Valley community facilities district number three, community facility, facilities utilities district number one, Wildflower Ranch Community Facilities District, Wildflower Ranch Community Facilities District Number Two, Cottonflower Community Facilities District, Australia Mountain Ranch Community Facilities District, King Ranch Community Facilities District, Centera Community Facilities District, and Cortina Community Facilities Di District. We are all here. We have no communication items. So let's go on to the consent agenda. Will the city clerk please read the consent agenda items 5.1 by title only. Item 5.1, approved draft minutes from the May 22nd, 2017 Communities Facility District meeting. Thank you. Does anyone on the public wish to remove an item from the consent agenda? Does council wish to remove an item from the consent agenda? Could I please then have a motion a second to approve the consent agenda? So moved. Second. I heard a motion from um, Vice Chair Campo for a motion and a second from Board Member Pizzillo. I'm going to ask for a roll call vote, please. Vice Chairman Campbell? Aye. Board Member Osborne? Aye. Board Member Pizzillo? Aye. Board Member Loritano? Aye. Board Member Stipp? Aye. Board Member Hampton? Aye. Chairman Lord? Aye. Passes 7 0. All right, we're on to business. There'll be one public hearing for, hearing for all 10 CFDs to receive comments regarding any final expenditures and tax levy for the 10 community facilities district. Finance Director Doug Sandstrom will be presenting 6.1 through 6.20 together. Final budget item 6.1 through 6.10 will be voted on. And then the tax levy item 6.11-6.20 will be voted on. So I'm going to open the public hearing and Finance Director Doug Sandstrom presenting. Doug? Madam Chair, members of the board, um, as you stated, I am here tonight to present the final fiscal year 2018 budgets for all 10 community facility districts, as well as the property tax levies and rates for all 10 of the districts. Uh, the first couple slides here just have a map of the districts that we have. North of I-10, we have three community facilities districts, mainly Palm Valley area is what is covered in these. When we go to the central Goodyear area, we have five CFDs um, scattered out through this area. And again, I will go through each one of these budgets and tax rates. And then finally, south of the Gila River, we have two community facilities districts, Estrella Mountain Ranch and Kings Ranch. So you can see we have community facilities districts scattered throughout the entire corporate city limits. Um, the schedules that were included in your budget packets and your council packets included the <coughs> final budgets, the operation and maintenance budgets, debt service. They are unchanged from the tentative budgets that were adopted on May 22nd. In the property tax levies includes the approximate tax levy and rates. One addition that we added into the packets is general obligation outstanding debt. That was a request from a council on the 22nd. So we have included that in your packets as well. The budgets for all of the CFDs for fiscal year 2018 are listed on the table in front of you. Going from the smallest, which is King Ranch, which is, which is an inactive CFD of $4,100, to the largest and most active of the CFDs, which is Estrella Mountain Ranch at $7.3 million. The budgets are separated into two different areas, O&M and debt service. Debt service covers that general obligation debt as well as special assessment debt. And then O&M is the administrative oversight as well as any special ongoing maintenance <coughs> expenses associated with a specific district such as landscaping and so on. That is what the tax rate for O&M will be able to cover. And again, this is unchanged from the tentative budget. Looking at the property taxes for the 10 CFDs, the shaded 
um, CFDs listed on this are the ones that we did refundings and refinancings for over the past year. And for the most part, you can see that reflected in the rates where the rates of those shaded ones have dropped. One noticeable um, exception where it did not drop very much is Palm Valley Community Facility District number three, and that's because we had a large cash balance that we had been using to keep that rate low. We have cleaned that out this fiscal year, so it is more in line with what you should be seeing from this point forward. Um, the Estrella Mountain Ranch has a standby agreement, which means the rate there will be $1. Anything over that that is required by debt service has to be paid by Newland developers. Last fiscal year, or for fiscal year 2018, they have already prepaid $540,000, which buys that rate down to the $1. And again, these rates are unchanged from what you saw in the tentative budget. Outstanding general obligation debt. As I said, this is in response to a question at the tentative budget adoption. We have them listed here by year that they will come to maturity. So the first one will be Wildflower Ranch Community Facility District will be completely paid off in 2023 with the most outstanding one, Palm Valley Facility District number three of 2032. Um, that is the outstanding principal balances in the year that the final payments will be made. And the recommended action for tonight is to approve all 10 final budgets for the CFDs and then adopt the CFD tax levies. With that, I'll open it up to any questions. Thank you very much. Are there any speaker cards? No, no, Chairman. Would anybody in the audience like to speak? Then will the city clerk please read the resolution numbers Chairman approving Moore, the final budget. Could you please close budgets. the public hearing? Oh, I'm sorry, what? Could you close the oh, public hearing? Excuse me, thank, thank you, you for noticing that. All right, close the public hearing. Will the dis district clerk please read resolutions, numbers, approving the final budget of the 10 community facilities district for the fiscal year beginning July 1, 2017 and ending June 30th, 2018. Item 6.1, community facilities general district number one, resolution number 17-176. Item 6.2, community facilities utilities district number one, resolution number 17-102. Item 6.3, Cortina Community Facilities District, resolution number 17-054. Item 6.4, Cottonflower Community Facilities District, resolution number 17-059. Item 6.5, Centera Community Facilities District, resolution number 17-060. Item 6.6, .6, Australia Mountain Ranch Community Facilities District, resolution number 17-107. Item 6.7, King Ranch Community Facilities District, resolution number 17-034. Item 6.8, Palm Valley Community Facilities District number three, resolution number 17-052. 6.9, Wildflower Ranch Community Facilities District, resolution number 17-065. Item 6.10, Wildflower Ranch Community Facilities District number two, resolution number 17-060. Thank you. Can I have a motion to second to adopt the resolution numbers for the 10 community facilities districts as read by the district clerk? So moved. Second. Ms. Chair. Okay, I heard from board member Stiff and board member Loritano as a second. Open for board discussion. Yes. All right. Comment, Mayor. Board member Osborne. Just wanted to thank you for that breakdown um, of outstanding debt. I appreciate that. And I'm, I'm happy to see the, the light at the end of the tunnel for Wildflower. Yeah, thank, <laughs> thank you. you. All right. Yes. Okay, any other discussion? Roll call vote, please. Board Member Osborne? Aye. Board Member Pizzillo? Aye. Board Member Loritano? Aye. Board Member Stiff? Aye. Board Member Hampton? Aye. Vice Chairman Campbell? Aye. Chairman Lord? Aye. Passes 7-0. Thank you. Will the district clerk please read resolution numbers approving the property tax levies for the 10 community facilities districts for the fiscal year ending June 30th, 2018. Item 611, Sunterra Community Facilities District, resolution number 17-061. Item 6.12, Community Facilities General District number one, resolution number 17-177. Item 6.13, Community Facilities Utilities District number one, resolution number 17-103. Item 614, Community, Community, Cortina Community Facilities District, resolution number 17-055. 
six item 6.15 cotton flower community facilities district resolution number 17-060 item 6.16 Australia mountain ranch community facilities district resolution number 17-108 item 6.17 king ranch community facilities district resolution number 17-035 Item 6.18, Palm Valley Community Facilities District Number 3, Resolution Number 17-053. Item 6.19, Wildflower Ranch Community Facilities District, Resolution Number 17-066. Item 6.20, Wildflower Ranch Community Facilities District Number 2, Resolution Number 17-061. Thank you. Can I have a motion and second to adopt the resolution numbers for the 10 Community Facilities District as read by the District Clerk? Motion? So, so moved. Second. I heard a motion by Board Member Pazillo and a second by Vice Chair Wally Campbell. Open for Wild Council discussion. No discussion. Roll call vote, please. Board Member Pazillo? Aye. Board Member Loritano? Aye. Board Member Stipp? Aye. Board Member Hampton? Aye. Vice Chairman Campbell? Aye. Board Member Osborne? Aye. Chairman Lord? Aye. Passes 7 0. Does the Board have any comments and commentations to report? Does the district manager have anything? All right. No, sure. No summary. So no inquiries from the board? All right. I'm going to, with no further discussion, I'm going to adjourn this meeting, and we'll have a 6 o'clock meeting following this. Meeting adjourned.